Hey everyone, let's talk about how to insert and cite charts, graphs, pictures, all of that good stuff if you need to use that in your paper. So first of all, I would say that using a chart or a graph that provides information would probably be considered one of the sources in your paper if you have a source limit. Um, however, just using a decorative picture um, probably would not be considered a source. So keep that in mind, although for either um, picture or graph, you would still need to cite this in your work cited. So I have a chart here from the World Economic Forum for charts that show that tech is still a man's world. So I'm going to right click and I'm just going to copy that image and I'm going to go in and do my paper. Now my paper is in a Google Doc right now. Um, so just like you would with any other quote, you want to make sure that you're telling us who is talking, what's going on with the quote, and then after the quote, you're discussing it. What does it mean? Tell us how it moves your argument forward. Um, so this has a space in it right now because I've just created, I've just hit enter a few times, and I've created a space for that image. And in Google Docs, um, just like copy and paste doesn't work but what you can do is hit control v and there it is that image is there now again i'm continuing the paragraph here so i'm not indenting uh this portion i'm just continuing the paragraph because just like with any other quote you don't just drop a quote and then leave it hanging you want to sandwich it by telling us what's happening and then discussing it afterwards so how would i cite this so down at the bottom of the work cited you know that you need you know author names titles you need uh the website title the the link the year um all of that is in this article so we've got the author there we've got the the year or the date the the title the place where it came from and of course the link so we're good on being able to create a work cited like that um, just as long as you're telling us where uh, this particular image came from okay so what about if you just want to use a decorative picture let's say this one right here um, so i'm going to do the same thing I'm going to copy the image and let's say for whatever reason, I want to use it at the end of my paper. Control V on my keyboard again, paste that image in there. And then you can play with how this looks. You can uh, make it wrap text. You can, well, I don't know exactly how to do that, but you can um, move it around in different ways if you want to. So uh, you, you know, make it look as attractive as possible. Okay, so how do we cite this? So this is not in the Little Seagull handbook. So I went and looked um, for EasyBib Digital Image Citer, and I will add the link uh, to the bottom of this video in the description. So what I'm citing. So they're looking for a title or a description of the image. Now under the image is that title. So that's usually there. Um, they also usually, uh, if it's a good source, they're going to tell you where they got their image from. So it's Stefan Wermuth and then here is the title. So I have put this in. I've got the title here. I've got the author here and here. The website title was again the World Economic Forum. And again, that URL is pretty easy easy to grab. The year was uh, August um, 7th, 2017. I'm going to complete the citation now. And here it is. I can copy and paste that into my paper just like I would any other citation.